I know you guys are probably surprised and shocked that I'm even going to do this. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel and as always, thanks so much for clicking on this video. And so before I actually get to the main part of the video, which is this box as well as those three die casts sitting right there, a lot of you, including James over at Hewitt's Hot Wheels, let me know that when I was looking at the 64 Nova, one of the wheels on the wheelie bar was missing. So um, a couple of you actually sent me some DMs on Instagram showing me that it was actually attached to the blister that he sent it in. Of course, I could not find it. So James, it's going to have a missing wheel. So that is what it is. I'm just kidding guys, no, I found it. I actually came in and it was still attached to the blister. Um, and there you go, James. Now you can rest easy tonight. Both wheels on the wheelie bar are attached. I just put a little drop of contact cement and it is now golden. So really wanted to give you guys an update. I know a couple of you pointed it out and James was super bothered by it. Um, but like I told him, this casting was just hands down perfection. And that was the last thing I was gonna pay attention to. But I definitely do appreciate all of you who pointed it out, especially you, James. Um, thank you again so much for sending that 64 custom. I just got back from meeting a local collector. He goes by the name of Fordsman84. We've been trying to work out this trade for a couple weeks now. With my schedule not being so flexible on trying to meet people, especially when it's a little bit further out, um, it's a little bit hard. So. I didn't want him to think I was bailing on him. I definitely wasn't, but I finally got to meet up with him. We did the trade, and of course, he's just an amazing guy to talk to. Just talk about die cast. He's been collecting for a long time, and I really just wanted to trade my one casting for his one casting, um, but he threw in two extras, plus he gave a box of goodies. I don't know what's in that box. I'm super excited. He said I was gonna be anxious to open it up. And of course, you guys already know I love opening up boxes and packages. So before we get to the box, we're gonna go ahead and showcase what I got on this trade. I'm not gonna tell you what I traded for because that's just between me and him and I don't want any judgment on both of our ends. I think it was a solid trade. He's happy, I'm happy, and that's all that matters, guys. So the first one right here is my favorite casting. You guys should already know the 65 2 plus 2 Super Treasure Hunt. Check this out, guys. This thing is freaking beautiful. Look at that. The card is in great shape. Of course, you do have like little soft edges, but I don't care about all that, guys. I just care about the artwork and the overall card. Is it in good condition? And of course, the blister. But here we go. You got the eight spoke yellow real rider wheels right there. You got the Spectra Flame blue. And of course, you got the yellow hash stripes running down the side, as well as the hood and trunk. Check this out, guys. This thing is beautiful. Of course, you have the TH right there on the trunk lid. And this thing, man, look at that, guys. So I actually saved a protective case for it. I have three left. So this is going straight in here. I don't even want to risk dropping it or having any soft edges or anything like that as soon as i get a super i automatically throw it in a hard case look at that guys beautiful 65 2 plus 2 god that is awesome now the next two caught me off guard because i definitely did not think he was going to throw these in but here we go guys you got the 68 mustang super treasure hunt as well look at this bad boy this spectra flame gold the red and black tampos and look at those wheels huge torque thrusts with the red chrome trim that thing is freaking wicked looking look at that beefy looking tires you got the th right there on the rear fender of course you got the hot wheels logo but look at that guys i finally got the 68 mustang tuned super treasure hunt now this is definitely going to sit on top of the boss hoss i have of course i have the blue the red, the new black, and then of course, this was my first 68 gaster I had. These three right here I picked up at the cubby hole. Of course, this one was the beginning of this year's release. So excited beyond belief to have the super treasure hunt of this. I thought that was amazing when he threw those in there. I was not expecting it and it was just one of those moments of like, oh my God, are you sure you wanna throw this in there? Talk about amazing guys. Both cards are in immaculate condition. And of course, throwing them in the hard case, 
they're gonna stay like that for a long time. So look at that guys, two super treasure hunt Mustangs that I can officially add to my supers list. So I got the GT500, the 2005, the 2007, and the 69. And then now I finally got the 65 I've been wanting for a long time and the 68 gasser. So that is freaking amazing. Now this one is the Black Bandit collection of the 2016 Shelby GT350. Look at this bad boy. This is completely murdered out. All black, satin black, which I definitely love. I gave them my word that I was going to open this up for you guys, and that's what I'm gonna do. I know you guys are probably surprised and shocked that I'm even gonna do this, but I'm gonna open this up, and you guys know how I feel about opening up stuff, especially like this. But I told Ford's man I was going to open this up. So that's what we're gonna do. Here we go, guys. Ah, uh, the nerves. Spin her up. Oh, this is hurting deep down inside. Pure pressure, guys. Don't cave into pure pressure. Ah, oh, there we go. Look at that satin black. This thing looks freaking nice. Got the really nice headlight detail, the turn signal detail. And of course, coming around the side, you got the GT350 fender badge right behind that vent. And then coming around the back, you have some really nice detailed tail lights, almost like a metal flake red. You got the black bandit insignia right where the license plate goes, the GT350 snake on the trunk. And then of course you got the quad exhaust detail, but look at that, all metal. Let's go ahead and open up this hood. Look at this. Look at that guys. You got the strut brace, you got everything. This thing looks freaking wicked all black like that. I think something like this deserves a top spot. Let's go ahead and move this. Move this one a little bit over. And we're gonna go ahead and display her out of the case right there. Look at that guys. She fits in nicely. This one will just go down here. But there we go. The Black Bandit GT350 all murdered out. All right guys, so you saw it. That was one Shelby I actually opened up and you guys know how hard it is for a carded collector like myself to open up something like that. But of course I'm gonna keep the case. Now let's get to the goodies. I don't know what he sent, but he said there's some stuff I've probably never seen before. So I'm excited to see what Ford's man threw in this box. You ready guys? Oh man, I'm bracing. I'm bracing, I'm bracing, I'm bracing. Here we go. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, 32 Ford from the Steve Caballero series, which I do have this in gold as well as black. Second one is always good to have. Nice, nice. Ooh, look at that. You got the silver 2017 Ford GT in a metallic silver with the black PR5s and the black racing stripes. And this is out of the Nightburner series. I don't have this one. The only other variations I have, oh actually, I do have it. Look at that. I didn't even know I had it. I forgot completely that I had it. All right, so sweet. I got a second one, nice. Let's see, ooh, I do not have this one. Got the 2015 GT. Look at this green. This metallic green with a hint of yellow pearl in it. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. You got the black PR5s with the yellow ring. And of course you have the black and yellow hockey stripes or the C stripes actually running down the door with the 5-0 badge. And then of course you have the black stripes running from each heat extractor. Look at this thing, it's beautiful. I do not have this one, nor did I even know this color variation existed. So the 2015s are all right here, which it looks like it starts down the bottom. So yeah, definitely love a new color variation. Awesome, awesome. All right, here, oh man. You got the Porsche 911 GT3 RS in red enamel. Look at that. It's out of the Hot Wheels Exotic Series. This thing is beautiful. Look at this setup, guys. You got the GT3 RS right there on the back. You got the, what is this, the J5s. This thing is freaking sweet looking. 
Oh, that is nice. I know King Nut, actually every Porsche lover is definitely gonna like that one, especially being red. Oh man. And then look at this guys, check this out. The smaller car, Johnny Lightning. And it's the 1965 Mustang Sports Roof. Look at this, blue. This is like the grabber blue. You got the front end and the hood all blacked out with the black racing stripe running down the center. And of course you do have the gray torque thrust with the chrome lip. That looks really nice, look at that. Really good bumper and tail light detail door handle detail the only other johnny lightning that i have that is similar to this is this old mach 1 right here look at that i never seen another one like that so now i have another johnny lightning with a short card variation sweet you guys know i love johnny lightning and then here we go we got another 2015 gt convertible in black with the white stripes and of course the white hockey stripes running down the side this does have the yellow PR5s out of the Muscle Mania series. And you guys know, I actually did pick this up not too long ago from, I can't remember who sent it to me, but I do have it right here. Definitely love this one. All right, what else we got? Ooh, oh man, Shelby Collectibles, 67 GT500. Look at that. Very much looks like the Eleanor. You got the dark charcoal metallic with the black wheels. Look at this casting, this is a beautiful casting. The only Shelby collectible items I have are right here. And I thought those were the coolest thing, but look at this, this is freaking sweet. Oh no, look at this. I didn't even know this existed. The 2010 GT500 Zamac, number three out of 2015's release, look at that. Holy crap, I didn't even know this was a thing. You got the Kane in deco with the 32 right there on the side, the A1. Toyo tires. Oh, this thing is wicked looking. Got all kinds of sponsors running down the hood. I love the Kane in stripes. That is freaking sweet. Never even knew this existed. And look at that. He sent the mainline one in white with the gray PR5s. Oh man, which one do you guys think looks better? Usually the Zamac always looks better. Actually, yeah, the Zamac does look better. I did notice that there are more, more sponsors right there on the side where this one was kind of blended. So I'm definitely excited you threw in both variations. That way I could see. I don't even know what 2010 GT500 I left off on. I think it was the black and blue and I got a couple of the Super Snakes, but I don't have regular GT500s. Look at that, guys. Oh man, Wade, you hooked it up. Thank you so much for these. All right, here we go. Oh, another one. 2014 Zamac, number 18 of the year of the Boss Laguna Seca. Oh man. That is freaking nice. Look at that. You got the 50th meatball circle right there on the side, the Boss 302, and you got the black, red, and white stripes. And of course you have the Ford Racing. Oh, you got the black PR5s with the red chrome trim. Oh, that is sweet. What's the, oh uh, man, now I gotta look at which Laguna Seca's I have. Uh, let's see, let's see, where are my bosses at? I know I have some Laguna Secas. I guess I don't? There's no way. No way. I have a blue one. Where's the blue one at? Oh, right there. Never mind. Okay, so I got the blue Boss Laguna Seca and the Holiday Laguna Seca. Um, and I think that's it. So definitely needed this one. I didn't even know this was a thing either. What else do we got here? Oh man. You got the 32 Ford Zamac out of 2017's number 11 release. Look how wicked that looks. Oh, the Hot Wheels Flame series, guys. There's a special place for this series, and I don't know why they got rid of it for this year. Hopefully they bring it back. You guys know I'm trying to collect more 32 Fords, and he hooked it up with two solid ones. Of course, I have the gold but don't have the Zamac and now I do. Look how wicked that looks.
Those black five spokes look amazing on there. Oh, that is sweet. Woohoo! Look at this. What is this, a Target exclusive? Oh man, look at this. The editor's Choice, the 1970 Mach 1. That is a beautiful casting. Check this out. And we were just talking about how the Mach 1s had the separate wing, and it looks like that's what that is a plastic wing that is actually casted separate from the molding itself. Look how beefy that setup looks. Those white stripes, or almost like a cream colored stripe. Then you got the orange pinstripe running down, and look at that detail on those tail lights. This is a beautiful casting. Look at that. This is nice. This is out of, it looks like 2000, 2001 time frame. Yeah, definitely wasn't collecting around this time. This is freaking sweet. Look at that, guys. Hot rods, 10 second. And it looks like it's a Target exclusive. This is freaking sweet. Holy crap. He was right. He said there were some things I've probably never seen. And yeah, he's definitely right. Didn't know about the Zamax. Did not know about the this one. And of course, never seen another short car Johnny Lightning like that. All right, we got a couple more guys. Here we go. You got the orange Mach 1 out of the Rebel Riders. This is one of my favorite decos for this casting. I do have, see I have a purple one right here out of the Rebel Rides and that purple metallic just looks so nice. But look at this guys. Finally have the orange variation. And this is, oh, this is a beautiful cast. <laughs> oh man. And here we go. He threw in the purple one. I have a second one that I can actually open up. Let's go ahead and get this dust off. There we go, guys. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, that is nice. Oh, here we go. We sent some loose ones. You got, it looks like, this is the treasure hunt. Let's go ahead and take this out and look. This is nice. Look at that detail. Got the chrome interior, flat black hood, silver fog light and headlight detail. You got TH08 right there. Look at that, 2005 Mustang. Why don't they just bring back the detail like this? So this is a treasure hunt, 2005. I didn't even know this existed at all. Beautiful gold metallic. Jeez, all right, what else we got in here? Looks like he threw in another Chevelle. You guys know I love the Chevelle. Yeah, you got the red metallic 70 Chevelle SS, the chrome five spokes, the white interior, which is a very classic looking color. And of course the really cool black and white outline stripe running down the side like that. That rake is very nice. All right, what else we got? Ooh, is this a Mark Martin Valvoline car? Holy crap. He's telling me it is. He's one of my favorite race car drivers. Oh yeah, look at that, guys. That is wicked looking. Oh man. Is this a Shelby? The 68 Mustang with the number six Valvoline Deco, which is Mark Martin's number six. Oh, look at this. That is super cool. Look at that, guys. Beautiful casting. Oh, man. And then what else we got? You got the Kellogg's, number five. Oh, I forgot who raced number five. Who raced number five? NASCAR guy, if you're watching this, who was number five out of the Kellogg's? What is this, an old Monte Carlo? Oh, no, it's a Chevelle. Look at that, number five Kellogg's. Man, that is really cool. God, that is awesome. Awesome, awesome. I love NASCAR stuff like that. He definitely sent some awesome ones. Then you got the, looks like a Lamborghini Gallardo. Ooh, nice yellow metallic with the huge trap fives. Nice tail light detail, looks really good. And yep, the Giardo LP560-4. Put that right there for right now. And then it looks like a, ooh, a C8. This is the new C8 Corvette in red. Man, that is nice. 
That red is super glossy. Whatever they, whatever paint they use, Mattel needs to really use that because look how crisp that looks. What? Who makes this? Maisto. Very clean. I might wheel swap this one. Definitely needs some nice wood. Look at that. Oh, those body lines look good. Then we got, looks like a Porsche Cayman in a really nice Aztec gold with the black five spoke wheels. Look at that detail, guys. Beautiful cast. Oh yeah, that is nice. That license plate, C1817. All right, so last, but definitely not least, look at this. Oh man, look at this Shelby, guys. Big time muscle. Oh yeah, you can tell by those wheels. Look how massive those are. God, that is nice. <laughs> oh, that is classic Shelby right there, guys. Beautiful. Gotta clean it up a little bit. It's just got some dust, which is fine. Ooh, that looks nice. See how that stance is. Oh yeah. That screams Carol Shelby. I think that might actually stay right there with the Shelby. That is freaking sweet. But look at this, guys. Wade, thank you so much for all of this. I was not expecting a box like this. Definitely wasn't expecting the bonus Super Treasure Hunt or the Black Bandit GT350, but it was all amazing. But what was more amazing was actually meeting you in person. Um, finally got to just chat with you, talk to you about the Hot Wheels and all the stuff. Let's do a real quick recap. You got the Steve Caballero Aztec Gold 32 Ford. And then you got the Zamac number 11 release out of 2017. You got the 2015 GT convertible in black with the yellow PR5s. You got the really nice Porsche 911 GT3 RS in red enamel. You got the beautiful 2015 Mustang GT and a pearlescent green. That is my favorite color as of right now. You got another 2017 Ford GT in metallic silver. You got the Johnny Lightning 1965 sports roof, which is a beautiful grabber blue. The legendary Mach 1 in metallic purple out of the Rebel Riders. Orange Mach 1 out of the Rebel Rider series. Then you got the 2015 release number three of the 2010 GT 500 Zamac with a K&N deco. White variation non zamac of the 2010 gt500 you got the shelby collectible 67 gt500 in a dark charcoal metallic god that's nice oh man he sent some heat his number 18 zamac boss laguna seca definitely an underrated car the boss laguna seca is a beast and you got the target exclusive mach 1 1970 in black i am absolutely in love with the super of the 65 2 plus 2 in Spectra Flame Blue, Mustang tuned Super Treasure Hunt in Gold Spectra Flame. Treasure Hunt 2005 Mustang. You got the Valvoline's Mark Martin Deco of the 67. You got the really nice C8 Corvette in red. The 70 Chevelle convertible in red metallic. And then of course the 70 Chevelle out of the number five Kellogg's racing deco. That is freaking awesome. And then Shelby 427 SC in black. God, that is wicked. Can't forget the Lamborghini Gallardo the Porsche Cayman. Beautiful cast. Matchbox just has hands down the best detail in certain castings. I mean, you can't match the Porsches, the Mustangs, some other casting just have phenomenal detail. Again, Wade, thank you so, so much for, for giving me all of these casts and of course the trade. I mean, it was just awesome. Can't believe you would hook me up with this much stuff. Um, I'm excited to have a lot of this because I don't have 95%. The only ones I did have was the Ford GT, the black convertible and the 32 Ford. All the other stuff I didn't have. Well, I did have the purple Rebel Riders, but that's beside the point. That is all I got, guys. Talk about an awesome trade and a gifted box of goodies. 
Uh, it doesn't get better than that, guys. I mean, he's a, he's a local collector. Now that I'm on the further end from where he is, I can hunt for him on this end. He can hunt for me on that end. And just network, guys. Just work out trades. Have fun with it. Build your community, but do it the right way. Don't try scalping people and selling for crazy prices. Um, just work out trades. Build friendships. And I mean, in return, it'll eventually pay off um, in the long run when you start getting more loyal friends and all that stuff. So I'll definitely put his channel down in the description box. He's, he, he's actually had his channel for like five or six years and I'm gonna binge watch everything because he's got a collection that is just insane. I mean, he's been collecting since the mid to late 90s. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. It is greatly appreciated. Let me know which one of these was your favorite casting from the box. Let me know your thoughts on these two super treasure hunts and what you thought about me opening up the Black Bandits GT350 right here. Thing is freaking sweet looking. So yeah, guys, that is all I got. Hopefully I can find some room with this because I am legit out of room i have no room for anything i gotta start purging putting things in totes or getting rid of some stuff uh, i'll keep you guys posted on how i'm gonna do all that stuff but hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did comment down below i love interacting with all of you and thank you for all the love and support that you continuously show me i definitely appreciate all of you so until next time guys this is the mustang hunter peace